When I drive around rural North Carolina, I see how this land used for agriculture. And, and it makes me think of the complex journey that the food has to take from these fields to the retail store shelves. It has to be harvested, it has to be packed, transported, cooled. And at every step, there's massive inventory loss. What if, what if this entire system could be consolidated into one site? What if you grow and you sell at the same site? What would that look like? The farmery is an urban farm and market where we use the entire structure to grow food and the bottom level is used as a retail area where we can sell the food. The farm is created from shipping containers and modular greenhouse components. We have these living wall panels that we've developed that hang off the outside of the shipping containers. And we grow aquaponic crops on those. And then inside the shipping containers, we grow gourmet mushrooms. My farming methods differ in almost every way from conventional agriculture. For one thing, the plants are grown in expanded clay pebbles instead of using soil. I use basically a 50% aquaponic, 50% hydroponic nutrient mix. Aquaponics is the combination of aquaculture, the growing of fish with hydroponics, which is growing plants in water-based systems. The crops that we primarily focus on the farmery are gourmet mushrooms, strawberries, herbs, greens, baby greens, salad mixes, lettuces. But then, once you've grown it on a small space, the question is, what do you do with it? And that's really where the magic happens. If you grow it in a, such a small space to the point that you can locate a retail element to it, then you've, you've created a completely new experience. Customers can walk in there and cut the crops, harvest it, put it in their little baggie, and they'll have a, a story right there. You know, that's what it is. They'll have an intimate connection with their food that they won't experience anywhere else. We'd like to put a farmery in every city across America, you know, starting with regional growth and hopefully expanding into national. I think we have a lot of different options as far as locating the farmery. I think two of the most attractive options are putting it in urban neighborhoods where customers can come in and they can see their food growing on the walls. They can have this unique experience that's typically not provided in, in an urban area for them. So we grow and sell in the same space is the eventual idea. But I think also on the flip side of not just selling to that higher end middle class market, I think there's also an argument for lower income urban neighborhoods as well. Having them buying food from the area they live in maybe would make them more proud of, of themselves and, and it's almost like celebrating their identity, you know? I kept pursuing the farmery because I believe in it. I'm on a mission to create something spectacular, something that I think people could, uh, could be a part of, really. I hope the farmery uh, changes the way we look at food, the way we eat food. I hope the farmery makes us realize that food is about quality over quantity. I want people to be charmed. I want people to be charmed by experiencing the Willy Wonka of agriculture that is the farmery. That's what I want.